Bank of America's senior leaders been discussing, Laura? Yeah, this is really the inside track here, Vani. Bank of America executives have been talking about these plans really coming from Tom Montague's subordinates to push into Paris really quickly from London. So Tom Montague is a COO, and he's asked his, he had asked his deputies to go ahead and give some numbers. You know, how many people could we really see moving from London to Paris? And some of the things that we found out, according to the sources that I talked to, some of these plans called for 600 people to be moved to Paris and other areas. And, you know, the sort of big capstone plan, the, the sort of idea that was floated was up to a thousand people being moved into Paris. Why is it breaking with the other big banks, Laura, and choosing Paris, whereas the other big three are heading to Germany? Right, Mark, exactly. Bank of America has chosen to break from these American rivals. You know, you've got JP Morgan, Goldman Sachs, Citigroup, all choosing Frankfurt, as you mentioned. So for Bank of America, I mean, they see Paris as a recruiting place. You know, you have people who really want to be living in Paris versus, say, Frankfurt. A lot of the, the bankers don't find the, you know, culture to be as much in, in Frankfurt. So that's one area. But then also when you think about it from an operational perspective, Bank of America wants to get out ahead. You know, you can say to clients, look, we've got this full operation running here. So if you're able to really figure out how many people you want to send ahead of time, you can start setting up those operations and you don't really have to wait, you know, if we're going to lose these passporting rights from London going into the other EU countries. How are they going to deal with uncertainty over rules? If they're talking about Paris and Dublin and Frankfurt and it's all a little bit messy at the moment, you know, how are even internally they planning? Right, exactly, Ivani. I think Bank of America's structure, you know, with these three cities is, is really interesting and unique to the banking sphere. You know, you don't see JP Morgan, you don't see Goldman doing this. Dublin is going to be, they've said publicly, the legal head main entity for Bank of America, but then you've got Paris as this trading hub where you're going to see most of the trading come out of. Frankfurt too is in the mix though, you're going to see additional bankers being sent there, maybe traders as well, um, to continue the operations out there. So I don't know that they have a full plan at this point in time of, you know, which each, which country is going to accept how many new workers from London, but that's really what's happening and they need to understand from the government where things are going in order to finalize those plans.